Hey there, you're watching Amitha Verma. Remember when working from home was a fun thing you did to get away from the office or maybe get organized? Who could have imagined that now this is the way of life for so many people? If you didn't already have a home office, today I wanted to share with you some of my best design tips and three different design ideas so you can get started on creating a beautiful, inspiring home office. Now my best tip that I can share with you before you jump into the car or online to go order something is to really think about the style of your home before you commit to jumping in head first for your home office design. I'm gonna show you three different ideas from the most complicated to the easiest solution in every single one of those rooms or home office applications. Take into account the style of my home, which include some French design elements, the French country feeling, beautiful color palettes, pieces of furniture that inspire me and allow me to do some of my best work. So for the weekend warrior in you, we're gonna start with the most complicated project first. Here you can see behind me, this is my built-in home office. It's made up of a really great long wood working surface area that holds my computer. I've got drawers below, cubbies above, cabinets above that, bookshelves on either side, and cabinets below to store all of my equipment like printers and scanners. This home office was really tailored to be for me and that's why it's built into the cabinetry in our room. And not only is it built in because I love to work from home, I really took it up a notch and personalized it to feel authentic to me and the design style of my home. You can see my cabinets are this really beautiful shade of gray that sometimes looks gray, sometimes looks blue. I've got this gorgeous gray antiquing effect all throughout my cabinets. My favorite, gold hardware, and layers and layers and layers of classic molding because that's what truly inspires me when I'm working in my space. So when I was designing this built-in home office, one of the most important things for me is I don't really want to see a lot of the mechanics of the office. So throughout my cabinetry, we drilled holes for all our wires to be wired through. This was before everything was wireless and tucked away cords and created a system of cabinetry. So all of the office mess, the paperwork, invoices, billing, printers, file systems are all behind the scenes. First, I would start by determining how deep you want your cabinets to be. I did this by just measuring the different home office devices that I had, such as my computer, my printer, and my shredder. Generally, I would recommend anywhere from about 18 to 24 inches for cabinets and your desktop. The next step is I would determine how big you want your desktop. Now, before this even existed, all I had was a blank wall behind me. I just pulled out my measuring tape and decided how much of space, how much of depth I needed to house all of the computer equipment and then built the whole cabinet out. Afterwards, went on to create all of these beautiful paint finishes that you're seeing behind me. So if you're not ready to jump into a little mini home construction project, let me show you another great idea. If you don't want to do a built-in, my best tip of advice for you is to look for a piece of furniture that blends into the existing style of your home. So when I was looking for a piece of furniture to work from home, I immediately went to an antique or antique style secretary. This has to be one of my favorite pieces of furniture and let me show you why. So here you can see just exactly why I love this piece of furniture. And it's got this gorgeous, delightful hardware, colors that inspire me that I have enjoyed looking at day in and day out. So when I'm ready to go to work, all I have to do is flip the top down and then get to work. It's so old and so beaten up, but it still has this beautiful original leather work surface and all of these amazing cubbies that I still use to house my office supplies. It's got my laptop whenever I'm ready to do my work. I can pull my laptop out, get to work, and when it's quitting time, which I will say is a little bit harder when you're working from home, I can tuck my laptop right back into the shelf, 
close the door on the mess, which oftentimes there is, and it is a beautiful piece of furniture in my home office. The third idea is a multi-use home office space. That's actually in another spot of my home, so follow me while we go check it out. So here you can see I had an extra room in my house, like you might have a extra guest room, bedroom, or maybe a dining room, or maybe even a laundry room. I know that sounds crazy, but we're from Texas, y'all. So I converted this extra room in our house into a project room. And this is exactly where my boys love to spread out, love to do their homework, do their Zoom school, and do crafts and projects all day long. They love spreading out on this beautiful vintage old farm table and really making a mess and going to town without having to worry about messing anything up. This table was actually a really solid dark colored wood piece of furniture and to make it match my home, make it match my decor, I simply refinished it and put in a little bit of a gray paint wash all over it to lighten up the color and have it blend beautifully in my home. Now obviously this is not a built-in or even a proper desk. So you may be wondering where do we put the stuff? To put the stuff, you can look for different types of trays, bins, portable drawers, baskets and organizers to keep all of the things that you might need in a cabinet like I did behind me or on your work surface or even on shelves above your great big farm table. And there you have it. You got to see three great ideas and ways to create your own home office. My biggest tip, make sure your home still feels like a home. If you notice throughout my different areas, you didn't really see a big mix and match of actual office furniture. Down to the chairs, I selected things that were practical and comfortable for us to work in, but still fit into the style of our home. I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment and let us know how you're setting up your home office. And be sure to send us a picture. We'd love to see and we'll share all over our social media. If you like this video, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Then when you're done, head over to our blog where you can sign up and receive more great design project ideas. Till the next time we meet, keep making your home amazing with your design gifts. <laughs> All right, I guess I should like wipe it off. See, it's like it never happened. Don't tell them I messed up all their stuff. They'll never know. <laughs>